Hey everybody, how's it going? Going good over here. All right, let's get this started, shall we? All right. First up, we're going to take a couple day trip backwards here. And as you can see, the light coming in from right here in the middle, that'd be where the sun is. And now, like I said, this flashing bit that the sun does as I've said it before, when it's coming around the side of a planet, it's the light is coming through another planet's atmosphere while it's rotating. So it's going to create some flicker. It's going to get really bright. It's going to get really not bright. <laughs> as you can see, you start to see this shadow here. It's round. And this one will be up right here see how it's coming around the side of this that's why it's hooked right there it's also being pinched by this now you can see the shadows again see as the lights pinched in between And that's usually what makes up for the odd shape. You see how it's coming down and around this round area? Now, if it's truly a, an eclipsing planet, we'll get light over here, we'll get light over here, get all kinds of light up here. I mean, you can see the dark shadows remaining. And there goes the light over there. Now it's going to come over here. Now as it gets over here, you'll, you'll notice this area gets dark again. But the light, see how it's reflecting again? It's coming around the side of a planet. Now it's, as the sun goes down, it's coming up and around and over. And now we're blocking light again and reflecting light. And there's another shadow right there. Let's back that up and have a better look at that because that just went by much too quickly. See the lights coming out over here over the top of this? See this shadow line? See this cut of line? You can see the light wrapping around, reflecting off the bottom. See right there, the light starts reflecting from underneath and then rounds. See how it's rounding over the back side and it rounds over the front side. See how it's rounding? See how it's going in a rounding direction as it goes up? That's because that's a planet. And there's the shadow line from the one it's dropping behind. flashing off of what's above while it's dropping a cast shadow as well. It's going behind something and reflecting off the bottom of what's above. Alright, next location. See all these black streaks? These weren't here last year. None of these. There were no shadows in the sky during the day. It's, I mean, it's look how dark it gets. Look at these dark shadows. This happens when there's very little light in the sky. Now, I don't know about most of you, but I don't remember clouds being behind clouds, creating shadows on top of other clouds. That's just something all new. But like I said, I mean, you know, the sun's dipping behind planets. I mean, there's no light on the water. Great big amount of light over there. And when we do see the light, it's bending. See how wide it is right there? And as it comes down along the side of that, it'll thin up real quick. See 
See, there's that shadow again. Now the light's reflecting all across the sky. If there was nothing there, it wouldn't be flashing like that. And that's the truth. All right. Now, again, with these black streaks coming down during the day, um, shadows aren't meant to be seen during the day, especially up in the sky. Uh, the sun usually takes care of a lot of that. Um, as you can see, the sun's coming down over here. Look at all this dark area and the shadows following it. See that? See those shadows? Look at, look at, shadows, shadows, shadows. Now, what I find amazing is nobody's really seeing this. I mean, the sun's bright now. There's no shadows in the sky during the day, no matter how many clouds are there. If the sun is getting through at all, we always see. Look at all the light over here reflecting off the top, coming through from above the clouds. See that? Now, we're going to go back and we're going to take a look. Wow. We're going to go back and take a look at last year. Here's last year. Okay, you can see it up there. 513 2017. Do you see any shadows in the sky? There are no shadows in the sky. The sun wasn't behind the planet at that point. But as you can see, there's no shadows in the sky. Not enough clouds, you say? Yeah. Well, here come the clouds, and still there's not going to be any shadows. Because <laughs> a year ago, this did not happen. Nobody's noticing the amount of light because it doesn't take much light to light up the sky. So let's see, look at that. None, do you see any shadows? I don't see one streak of black shadow yet. Not a one. Okay. This was tonight. As you can see, above, there's an area of blocking light. There's also an area of blocking light over here, also over here. See that round? See how round that is? <laughs> it stays round, too. See, the clouds are moving away, but the shape is consistent. See all the shadows as well? These streaks of black should not be there yet. Never during the day. Ah, look at the big dark shadow back there. As it's casting down. And now it's going down, the sun is, which should be right on here. But the light's coming out over here, over here. I mean, that's pretty cool, honestly. You don't see that every day. Look at, I mean, look at that over here. You got light over here, you got light over here, you got a big round thing here. You got something blocking the sun here from above, obviously. Look at all these lights on the, on the water. It's amazing. And you can see that over there. You still see all this up here. You see all that? Wow. Now this was from tonight as well. Same location as the one from earlier. In the video, but that was from yesterday or the day before. This is from last night. See this big dark circle over here? See the pinch? See the pinch? See all, all the darkness? See all the black streaks going across the sky? Shouldn't be streaking at all. Oh, look at that. You can see it now. Woo! Cool. Now, you may be thinking, just clouds, but just clouds just don't sit there every day, casting shadow. That sun is reflecting off something up there. 
Here's the, the edge of the burial. Coming in from above. See, here's the thing. If these clouds are actually above, like people would suggest, um, why is it dark clouds that are our clouds go all the way across the sky and there's no sun to speak of, as you can see, but yet aren't none of our clouds are illuminated, but these are still illuminated. So how is that even possible? It's not. That means these are still way on the other side of this. Because there's just no way all of this is dark and all of this is still illuminated. <laughs> See what I'm saying? None of our clouds are illuminated anymore underneath. These are way above, obviously. I haven't seen the sun in a while, and yet these are still really, really bright. And you got this big dark area with this big shadow. Yeah, this over here reflecting really well. We got something up here reflecting more light. See how this is reflecting light right here? Like it's something off the bottom and something around. Yeah. So what, are the clouds drifting off into space? No. Anyway. Hope you all have a good evening. That's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. And please share if you agree. Have a good one.